Hello and welcome back to another video on the Garner Collective YouTube channel. How's everyone doing today? If you like this video then please subscribe to the channel, check out the rest of the videos on the channel, it's a wide variety of gaming, money making which is always free to PayPal if not investing, household stuff, to name a few things and let's get straight into today's item which I can feel in this uh, packet which hasn't been opened yet because I wanted to do the video on it is free items from AliExpress and those items now I'll tell you one is a hand grip sort of thing to strengthen your hands and your forearms which I buy all the time but I eventually wear them out and have to buy another pair there is also uh, some brake brake pads and there's also some uh, stem bolt caps which is very good to enhance the look of your bike and let's have a look at it now. Let's open it up and have a look. So inside the big packet is another packet. So let me have a feel now which ones are which. So let's start off with this one. I know this is going to be the hand grip such as I just mentioned a second ago. These are very good. So let's have a look at this one first. So as we can see from the first item in the packet, we have a silicone hand grip and these are good for building up strength in your hands and also in your forearms you can see on this that there's two different uh, pounds on there there's 50 going down and there's 60 going up and you may wonder how does this work well if we're doing it this way for instance the hard way you're putting a pressure of 60 pounds on the uh, hand grip to bend it but if you do it this way you're only putting 50 on there and it is very very good and it's very very relaxing when you're just sitting on the settee watching your TV shows or or films just doing this the whole time it does enhance the viewing of the program so I said before um, 50 pounds when you're doing it that way and 60 pounds if you're doing it that way and you can see this side is a lot tougher than that side and you may be wondering for instance oh I don't have the strength to be able to do the 50 or the 60 well on the AliExpress site where I got it from uh, let me show you the video first and how, how people are doing it see that person in the video is doing the 70 and the 80 as you can see there's different um, there's different pictures of the item itself see that person's crushing the the 70 pound weight and if you're wondering like I can't do it I can't do it uh, if you look carefully let me just show you them now they have different weight sizes like there's the pink one which is only 20 to 30 you've got the red which is 30 to 40 the blue which is 40 to 50 the orange which is 50 to 60 and the black which is 70 to 80 that black one is 90 to 100 the grey is 70 to 80 the one which I've chosen in the video is 50 to 60 and blue is 40 to 50 and the green is 30 to 40 if you are choosing the tougher, way, tougher hand grip like the 70 to 80 be prepared to get severe redness on your hand and probably some blistering from you know the pressure on it it does dig into your hands so I wouldn't go for the toughest black ones just go for like you know uh, this one's a good one you do feel a bit of you know redness on your hands if you do it that way across as well but uh, they're very very good and uh, I bought them several times but after a lot of constant use that you do seem to get a few tears in them until eventually they're split in half but you can still use them even though they're split in half but it won't be as effective as you can see here now that person is doing the wrist workout by squeezing it just doing a few minutes a day and you feel your hand feels completely um, loose compared to how it was before and it also promotes uh, blood circulation and very good so if you've got problems with your arms, stuff like that, you want to build up your strength. If, you, if you're if you riding your bike, you want to have more strength on the grips, the handlebars. This is something that you'd like to try. And it's easy to do. Take it with you outside. Take it to work. If you've been sitting at your desk and you're waiting for those phone calls on customer service. As I said before, there's different uh, pressures on it. 50 to, 
different colors and so on. Go back again, and that's it. So that's that item out of the way. And as usual, I'll be putting a link to where you can get the cheapest one from the seller I use. So let's put that to one side and then move on to the other packets we have right in front of us. So I'm thinking now, uh, what should we choose now? Hmm. I'm thinking we'll choose this one because I know what this one's going to be. So upon opening the second parcel out of three, can you see what we have here? That is 20 stem bolt caps that you can put on your uh, bike to enhance the look. And so I've seen that, you know, silver look at the top of the cap, which can actually get affected by rain or weather if you leave your bike outside or you get caught in the rain and there's little parts of the bike you can't clean because it's hard to reach. These not only enhance your bike, they also um, protect it from rust and uh, stuff like that. So um, these come in a variety of different colours and as usual I'll be showing you the video on uh, Aliexpress once I've actually opened up the packet to show you how these work. So there's about 20 in the packet and there's different sizes to do. I think they do an M5 and an M6 depending on what you want. I've got plenty of M uh sixes at the moment but i wanted a smaller size so i've gone for these and these are very very good for the price and for the speed of delivery so let's open up now and have a look and let's show you exactly what they're used for so out of the packet you can see uh what do like that's just like hard plastic and by the groove on the top you know they're they're built to go into uh certain bolts that we have on our bike so let me show you my uh, my um, toolkit of bike components which I use to put my bike and I'll show you how it works right now. So let's open it up. So here now you can see the bigger size and there's the smaller size at the moment. I've got plenty of these, but I needed the smaller size. So as you can see here now in my uh, my bike storage kit, I have loads of uh, top caps, different colors by the company Risk. These are bought from Amazon, but you can buy these on AliExpress. And I've got like spacers, I've got like uh, caps for your Presto valve, uh, bar ends and stuff like that, and uh, spoke tightener. And I've also got these which are really really good because uh, they can go on the end of like uh, your brake lever that give it like uh, you know um, better colour to it and they actually just like press on with crimp on with like um, pliers and stuff like that. This is also my uh, spoke tightener as well and more bar ends and you also get free uh, allen keys whenever you buy. Um, one of these, so I've got getting plenty now. So uh, and I've also got these, and I've got these plastic things, which I use on my wire stopping from rubbing, and also there's that little kit here. So you're wondering now, uh, how do these work? So let me show you how they work. So let's pull out. Let's say, for instance, pull out one of my uh, top caps that I use for my bike, and let's pull out the bolt. So you would normally just put that, replace your existing top cap for a fresh look on your bike and then this little uh, screw would then fit in the middle to hold, to hold the uh, cap in place. So it would, it would look something like uh, this, like this one it. The screw would go into the cap and that will get screwed down into the, the bike frame at the top to keep your bike secure so this is what I mean now you're seeing the silver bolt on top and things like rain can damage it and also you've got the silver look and it looks, it looks good still with the silver but you want to enhance your bike don't you so for instance you've got a black bike like I have you want to uh, make all the nuts and bolts you know black as well so let me show you uh, how these little caps work 
So you've got your, for um, so example now, that's in your uh, bike. Let me try and get this correctly now. <laughs> so it's in, your, it's in your bike like that there now, and you want to put sync on it to make it look better. So you take one of these caps, I think this is the M6 size or the M5 size. I have to show you on the, on the size itself. And then, let me just show you now. So example now, that's in your bike like that, all silver. So you take the black cap and you just place it on there like that. And that's, it just enhances the look of the bike, doesn't it? So that uh, it just fits correctly and um, makes the bike look better than seeing like a silver cap. Plus it also protects the top of the screw from rust, from the rain or the bad weather, snow and stuff like that. So that's the reason why I bought these and they come in a variety of different colours. So uh, let me show you the actual um, item on Aliexpress. And so here we are on the Aliexpress sellers page where I got the old stem cap bolts from. Uh, they come in a variety of different colours as you can see from the picture. Red, blue, black, white, yellow and looks like orange as well. And uh, they come in a variety of different colours. As you can see, no sorry, uh, blue, red, yellow, white and black is not orange. As you can see now it comes in M3, M4, M5, M6, M8. I'm always buying m5 and m6 from amazon but now i'm buying from this seller here and as you can see it's a very very cheap price of one pound 71 and will enhance the look of your bike and cover up any top bolts uh, that um that need covering from the rain and the weather conditions and improve the look of your bike as i said before it comes in 20 pieces and dust proof for your bike as you can see there and other stuff very good and it matches the frame if you Pick it by frame, colour and so on. So we're going to go now to the last item that I received today. The last item we have, which is very tightly wrapped, is in fact bike brake pads. And these are high quality ones. And I bought these for my SRAM level brakes. So let's open up now and have a look in detail. So in the packet, the big packet here which is opened, you then receive four high quality brake pads which also come in their own sealed compartments and you can see now they're tightly wrapped so that they don't get loose in packaging. So let's open up one of them now and have a look in detail what these pads are made of and how good they are. Here we are then, so upon removing the package you can see they're tightly uh, zip tied so that they won't uh, fall apart or break apart. And I bought these for the SRAM level brakes. I don't use the back brake at all, more as a front breaker, but I always tap it gently so that I don't go over the bars. <laughs> but um, I'm always keeping my bike clean anyway. So I was told by um, one bike shop that you need to uh, rough up the pads a bit so that they brake better, but that was complete nonsense. Um, so, I bought a brand new pair of pads because no one in both shops I've been to, Decathlon or Lakeside Cycles, has these type of pads for my uh, SRAM level. So now let's have a look on the actual website and read about the detail of what they're saying they're made of and some type of information on them for you. So you get four pairs of bicycle disc pads for Avid DB Elixir SRAM Level TL. SRAM T, SRAM UTL, TLM, B1, Red Force, ETAP, AXS, Ultra Class, and they're full metal. The uh, seller also does a cheaper version of these, which also got praise as well. But uh, two sellers says they weren't very, very hard, you know, wearing. I mean, he said that they lasted for about 700 miles before problems but it depends how they're using it for brake if they're using it for you know severe mountain biking of you know those tight corners of gripping the brake like crazy to go across tight corners they're going to wear out a lot faster than someone who's riding his bike normally 
and breaking softly like I do. So um, here we are on the actual website of these pads. And the specifications are here. Are. Brake pads, DB1 model, hydraulic disc brakes, pads, Kuma Sports, mainland China, gold, full metal pads. I said before, it was a cheaper version of these pads and people were praising them as well. Just need to test and so on. So let's see if we can find any more information. So the material was gold full metal, all weather conditions, excellent heat dissipation, ultimate lung life, much better performance than the resin semi-metal pads. He, when, I, when he mentions that, it's because he also does the resin semi-metal pads for a bit cheaper. But these are brake power as original pads, three times life of the original resin pads and have been tested by Rhineland with EU standards. They fit, as I said before, uh, SRAM level and different types of their braking system for metal pads, better braking in wet and muddy weathers, resistant to losing brake power when overheated and long lasting brake resin. As you can see, there's the pads being fitted. I had to ask him how to fit the pads and he sent me a video of how to do it. And the raw materials are copper fiber powder, power, compact with punching machine, solidified by high temperature furnishes. And that's how they make them in their actual warehouse. And it tells you different sort of types of pads they have. So, as usual, I will put a link into all the items I've shown today with the cheapest seller. And uh, so you can have a look and maybe you want to buy or not. So, thank you for your time and patience. And I will upload this video straight away. For you to look at and I'll see you in another video coming soon. Thank you and goodbye.